On today's episode of Life on the Water, Brandon and his family visit the Pink Shell Beach Resort and Marina in Fort Myers, Florida. The Pink Shell Resort was a first pick for me, for the kids, the family. We've got great pools, splash pads. It was perfect to get the family here and, and for me to get out and go do a little fishing. And Brandon meets up with Fort Myers guide Nick Fisher to find some quality Southwest Florida snook. That's a snook right there, boys. <laughs> Holy That's cow. That's a Southwest dude. Florida snook. <laughs> that thing's huge, buddy. West Marines Life on the Water, presented by Costa Custom Boats. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Pink Shell. How is your drive today? Vacations are super important to us. You know, you work so hard all year long, and if you don't get to take that family time and go on vacations, then it's like, what are you working for? Let's see if we can see the pool. <gasps> Look at the waterfall. The Pink Shell Resort is so awesome for the kids. Like, it has a beautiful splash pad, a pool. It's a super great place to bring your family. So we were hanging by the pool and, and me and Autumn got a chance to uh, walk down to the Pink Shell Marina and they've got kayaks right there for anybody to go out and use and just kind of go on a, a little side adventure. And you can hop in and I'll push you off. Hop in there, babe. Ah! <laughs> Did you get your feet wet? Yeah. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Better catch up. So me and Autumn hopped on the kayaks and just started paddling out. Didn't know where we were going. We saw across the bay there, there was a, a couple little canals and we headed over there and just a good time for us to get away and kind of relax and just have some good conversation. Today is gonna be a little something more. I've got a plan in mind, a special thing in store. Yeah, this is nice. It's awesome you can come back here from the pink shell. The resort's awesome for the kids too. Yeah, that is. They had a blast in the pool. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, this is like, this is what old Florida's about, man. Just little back estuaries. Roots, lines. Reminds me of home. Back in Merritt Island, a little mix between the Keys and Merritt Island, you know? Yeah, they're Fishing pretty similar. On the rivers. It's a lot like home. It's nice to have a little bit of time without the babies. Yeah. Although they'll be ready to jump in the pool when we get back. It was super fun just to have alone time with him. We're thankful the grandparents could come because we don't get a lot of alone time. So when we do, it's very special and especially exploring a new place together. Are you ready to go back to the resort and swim? Oh yeah, I could go for a dunk. Cool. That place is awesome, that pool is great. In September of 2022, just weeks after filming this episode of Life on the Water, Hurricane Ian, a massive category four hurricane made landfall in Florida, devastating much of the Gulf Coast, including the Pink Shell Resort and Marina in Fort Myers. While the resort is still standing, the cleanup and repairs in Florida will not be quick or easy. As part of rebuilding the community from the damage caused by Hurricane Ian, the Pink Shell is raising funds and housing relief workers. To find out how you can help, visit pinkshell.com. West Marines Life on the Water, presented by Costa Custom Boats, is brought to you by West Marine, boaters serving boaters. Costa Custom Boats. Pelican Kayaks. 
Smith Knives, the edge experts. The Pink Shell Resort, collecting memories since 1950. And by Simrad. Southwest Florida is home to some of the best snook fishing an angler can find. From jetties and docks to the beautiful Florida mangroves, snook lie in wait until their predatory instincts are triggered. Smart and agile, they're known for diving around underwater structures to cut the line once they're hooked. Brandon is about to meet up with guide Nick Fisher to go look for some big ones. What's going on, man? What's up, dude? Good morning. Good morning. Ready How for a good you? day? Yeah, bro. Good to see you. Good to see you too, man. I've been a full-time guide for eight years now. My dad was a fishing guide down here. I was raised as a son of a fishing guide, first mate since I was four years old. Um, so I've lived in this area my entire life. Beautiful sunrise today, man. Should be a gorgeous day, man. Yeah. Light breeze, clear skies. Those clear skies are gonna help us. I'm excited. This is my first time fishing over here. Yeah? Yeah. yeah our fishery can be pretty phenomenal. My family's been guiding out of here for over 50 years. My right. dad was one of the first guys down here, and uh, I was raised as the first mate with him, and my brother guys, and he's 13 years older than me, so when I was younger, he just would take me, and he wanted to learn the area and do stuff on his own, and he would take me, you know, eight years old, 10 years old. It's probably <laughs> pretty annoying, but it's pretty cool. He would take me. Yeah, he would, that is it, cool. Man. And he would take me and fish tournaments with me and show that competitive awesome. edge. Yeah, that's awesome. So that's it, it's... Learning from them has, has been awesome. Absolutely, man. So what, you're second generation charter fisherman around here. All right, you ready to go? Yeah, man. Let's roll. Punch it. The Costa, man, they build a great well on these boats. Dude, these are awesome wells. I mean, how much bait we have in here? Right. Oh. Keep them nice and frisky. <laughs> Just try to you know, feel the bait. You feel the thump. That's him. That's him. All right, cool. That's the man. Let's do it. Oh, oh. Whoa. What you got? I think I got one of those jacks I was talking yeah. about. Yeah. Cravalli? Oh, yeah. There he is. Get down there. Nice jack. Man, these things are so much fun. So much fun, dude. You get on a school of them, the whole pack comes after you. Cool, man. Cool, man. Moving back. Yeah. Let them get bigger. Try it again. Yeah, man. Come on. Yeah. Dude. Big fish, man. Oh my god. That's gosh. a good one. Snook has always been one of my favorite fish to catch. Now, those fish are just something that you can almost catch anywhere in Florida, but the jetties seem to be, you know, east coast, west coast, the jetties seem to be the place that holds the big ones. And the big snook are, you know, that's a prize to everybody. Whoa, dude. That. Dude, that's a snook <laughs> right there, that's boys. A snook, bro. Holy that's cow. That's a Southwest Florida snook. That thing's huge, buddy. Yeah, that's probably 35 inches. Yeah. I'll tell you, I haven't grabbed one like this. Probably ever. <laughs> Sick, bro. That's awesome, dude. Right, That's a good turn. fish, man. As part of rebuilding the community from the damage caused by Hurricane Ian, the Pink Shell is raising funds and housing relief workers. To find out how you can help, visit pinkshell.com.
God. Oh, he's running to the rocks, bro. He came out. Coming right at you. Some circle hooks, man. That's the, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Look how clean that is. Oh, I know. It's huge, dude. Gosh, it's got, it's got a good bite on it. <laughs> yeah, I felt it. <laughs> She goes. Sick, dude. <laughs> All right, man, this is awesome. Fish feed in like small intervals. Right. Whether it be end of the outgoing, beginning of the incoming, yeah. or mid tide. But a lot of sometimes you'll notice like these bites will only last for maybe 30 minutes in this location mm -hmm. and, and, you know, 15 minutes in the other. Sometimes it'll last all day, but. Yeah. It's crazy how that happens, you know, like one fish starts eating, the school will eat. And yeah. then it's like, like you said, man, it goes on for whatever period of time and then it'll, like a light switch, light switch. just shut off. Look at the snook popping in there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Nice. Ooh, that might not is be. Is it a snook? No, right. Yeah, that might be it a is, snook. It is a snook. Sweet. Saltwater fish are in current all the time. So all they're doing basically is working out the entire time and, and they're, the speed of a snook is incredible. You know, it, they're, it, they're just an unbelievable fish. The, the thump on a bait is one of the most incredible feelings. It, it, I mean, they just, they just smack it. And it, you know when it's a snook. I mean, you can feel all their species and all of a sudden that thump happens, like, that's a big snook. Bite is hot, Nick. Bite is hot. Southwest Florida, baby. That's right, buddy. These are still my favorite species. Oh, absolutely. Oh. I don't wear this gold oh. snook chain for nothing. Nice snook, Nice man. snook, dude. Awesome. Yeah, he thumped that thing. Oh, yeah. There's no mistake on snook thumb. No, there's not. It's just different. Yeah, man. Nice job, man. Thanks, brother. That was good. Nice fish. Let's go see if we can get his big mama. One of the most important things you can have on your boat is a reliable battery. These new batteries from Rely On are extremely reliable. They've got 10 times longer lasting life and they're about half the weight. Also on the bigger 34 Coaster boat, it's a lot lighter since we've got about six batteries on that boat power and everything, six adds up. With those older style lead acid batteries, you're always worrying, you're always checking on them, charging them, making sure everything's good. When you open the hatch and you've got your rely on batteries in there, those lithium batteries, and you know you're good to go, it's a little bit less stress in the morning that you've got to worry about before you're heading out on a long day of fishing. These rely on batteries are great, and I'm glad I switched over to them. I'd recommend it to everybody out there. You can get them right here at West Marine. Snook are hard to catch. You hook up and hope they don't dive into the rocks. But they do. Again. <laughs> and again. He came off. Oh. There he is. That's a nice snook, Brandon. And again. Oh, did he come off? Oh my gosh. <laughs> there he is. Let's go. Oh. There he isn't. There he went. There you go, Brandon. Oh, got him, bro. That's a good one. Get him away from that filing. Oh, oh. oh dude, that was a stuck. Oh, my God. That was a monster. Oh, man. You know, losing big fish is just part of fishing. 
especially when you're snook fishing. And as we noticed, me and Brandon, we saw some defeats of hooking some fish and losing some. But, you know, that's part of it. That, that's a learning curve and, and, you know, if anything drives you more to refine your, you know, what you do and, and do better next time. As part of rebuilding the community from the damage caused by Hurricane Ian, the Pink Shell is raising funds and housing relief workers. To find out how you can help, visit pinkshell.com. West Marine's Life on the Water, presented by Costa Custom Boats, is brought to you by Visit Lauderdale, for everyone under the sun. Scales, every degree of water. Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. Rely on batteries, challenge your limits. Waypoint TV, the destination for outdoor entertainment. And by Ameritrail Trailers. Load, launch, relax. There it is. Right down the tube. <laughs> it's gonna be tough getting them out. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Nice, dude. That's a good one. They're all good. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Every fish is a good fish. All these things. Right in the corner of the mouth. Out to them circle hooks, they do it's their job. Look at that. I didn't even touch the hook. It just fell right out of there. This is what this area is known for, man. Our snook fishing is just, it can be phenomenal. That's a little better one. Yeah. You see a thick lateral line, this muddy water, dude. They, they love it. So your tail's all yeah, tore up? beat up. That's some spawning that's there. That's spawning. Yeah. They're doing a good job managing. Oh my gosh, dude. That was a smoke. That was right a thumper half. Yeah, dude, he thumped it hard. It's a good one, bro. That's a good one, man. Coming up. These things just so much power. Yeah. So fast. It's crazy. Their tails are just like almost as thick as their bodies are. Oh, yeah. Got a nice rock. Oh, it's all right. Could use some help on this yeah, one. Yeah, man, I'll land your fish. Nice one. That's a nice fish, man. That is a beautiful snook, buddy. Wow. <laughs> God, that line on him is so prominent. Yeah, how big do you think she is? Probably 34. Yeah. Right around there. It's a stud. I think she's about ready. I'm gonna oh, probably, oh yeah. I'm gonna let her go. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Nice, dude. That was. Incredible. Oh, that was a that was a thump and a half. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this has been a great, great day. It has been. It's always fun fishing with buds and catching some fish. Absolutely, buddy. You know, we caught some really big fish and we lost some big fish. So I think that that little itch in him trying to get those bigger fish is gonna drive him back here. And I hope, you know, his family comes back and you know I have little kids too and I the shelling and getting the kids out here and shelling. My, my little girl loves shelling, his little girl, she loves shelling. And there's just a lot to do in this area. And I, I, I hope to see him back down here.
I definitely plan on coming back and, and spending some more time here, spending some more time with Nick. He's a great guy. I think we've become really good friends just in the short amount of time that we've known each other. You know, I can't wait for him to come down to the Keys and do some fishing with me. And I definitely cannot wait to get back here to the Pink Shell Resort and, and go back out with Captain Nick. The Pink Shell Resort and Marina is a Southwest Florida treasure. With a little bit of help and a lot of hard work, this resilient Gulf Coast destination will eventually make a full recovery.